Floyd. They're, uh, the feuds are back in the... <laughs> Roger's back, everybody. The old men are fighting. Again. All day I've been listening to, uh... The radio. and just chilling. And then I look at my phone and I see... Oh! Roger Waters posted. Alright, let's see what he's got to say this time. He's probably saying something about the, uh, Israel-Palestine. And then I look and it's animals... New mix update and a video, and I'm like, wait, wait, hold on. So animals, this they've been wanting this 5.1 mix of animals to be released. I think it's been around since 2019 or so, and um, so it, it never got released, and um, now it's finally seemingly getting a getting a release, and um. I looked a little bit into it, and then I I kind of read what was written by Roger, and um, there's a lot going on here, and um, I kind of just want to read it. All right, there's a lot to unpack. <laughs> there's a lot to unpack. Where do I start? <laughs> Where do I start? Uh, we'll start with the good news. We'll start with the good news. Animals 5.1 re-release. It's it's happening. Um. So that's that's really cool. Um, again, I I love that album. Uh, I ranked that in my S tier, behind metal or not behind metal, but in the same tier as metal, obscured by clouds in the final cut. So I am super excited for that. Um, it's been interesting hearing the remixes of the the Floyd stuff. So I'm I'm curious to hear this new animals. Um, Will it be better than the original? Will it be worse? Who knows? It's hard to beat that original, though. Um, the other thing, the memoirs. I'm, I'm interested to read those. Um, so that, that's something I would, I'd be interested in. You know, I'd be interested in seeing more about that. Um, now just the, the, the weird stuff, which is mostly the drama. Um, all of the drama, actually. So, where do I start? We'll start at the beginning. Um, Roger is not being suppressed by Gilmore. It, <laughs> suppression is a very strong word for what's happening to Roger. I don't think Roger contractually is allowed back on the website. Um... Roger left the band in, like, 85, and I think because of him leaving, he has really no stakes in using it as a platform to put up things like, is this the life we really want, or us or them. Um, that's at least what I'm getting from it. The way Roger's gone about trying to do this, last time he did this, he put up, like, this iMovie video with him, like, taking shots at Polly Sampson and, like... You're, you're not helping your case. Um, it, no matter how heavily you feel on it, you're not helping your case. And you just got to have that foresight. So Gilmore wants it to be enigmatic. That's what Roger said. Um, that doesn't necessarily surprise me. Um, Gilmore always struck me as a person who wants it all as like a band effort. But that's kind of far from the truth in a, in some ways where it, it there always was a band effort but on certain albums like animals the wall and the final cut they're roger albums not solo albums but roger albums they're very roger centric and you you can't really say that oh you know everyone was contributing the same amount because the wall is entirely Roger not entirely but almost entirely the final cut is almost entirely Roger without like one song you know at least songwriting wise even you know even animals is very Roger based I don't think you can really say it was enigmatic the history is so well known at this point you know animals is a result of its history same with the wall and the final cut it, removing the liner notes just seems weird to me I, I don't think there's any innocent side here I, I genuinely don't i think roger is being egotistical in the way he goes about this um like 
you know, he, he just, he's not the center of Floyd. Is he trying to say he is? I'm not necessarily, but it's like, oh, I'm being suppressed. I'm being suppressed by Gilmore and Samson. It's like, no, you got, you know, you left the band in 85 and then for a hissy fit when you left and they started trying to tour again, you know, it's like, I don't know. You know, he's, he's off the deep end in that aspect, but I also think Gilmore, why would you need to remove it? If this is the reason, why would you want to remove the history that made this album a landmark for the band? Um, it's, you know, not just the, the history of the band, but what it means and things like that. Like, this is stuff that's well known to Floyd fans and stuff. But it's nice to have it. It's nice to recognize it in the, the liner notes. There, there's no reason why there shouldn't be liner notes. Unless... I could see it where Roger's just completely lying. Or it, it's it's one of two things. It's either Roger's lying completely. And it's just making stuff up to stir up a crowd. And to some extent he is with the things like... You know, I'm being suppressed from the 30 million subscribers that I don't have. No, you're you have millions of people listening to you, but um, it, it, to some extent he's over exaggerating. But at the same time, if that's really what's going on, there's an issue. <laughs> that's not good. I don't know. It's very confusing. This whole thing. So, short, short answer. Rogers being egotistical i have no idea what david's trying to do at this point if if you if you genuinely believe that floyd will ever get back together just give up i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry whoever you may be i am so sorry you will never see it